Welcome. Today we are focusing on English reading and shared reading from grade R to grade 3. In this segment, we are exploring grade R shared reading and we'll be making an A3 sheet depicting characters of the story and a sequence of events. Hello everyone and welcome to today's lesson. Today we are going to do shared reading and the story that we are going to talk about is the three little pigs. We are going to look at the characters of the story and we are going to look at the sequence of events. What is sequence of events? It's the way the story happened. What happened first, second and third. Let's get started. Here's what you'll need. You'll need a sheet of paper. I have three headings on my sheet of paper. I have the title of the story the three little pigs. I have a heading, the characters, and my last heading, sequence of events. Remember, I said sequence of events is the way things happened, what came first, second, and third in the story. You will also need some print, some pictures of the characters, and also what happened first, second and third. Now, do you remember the first character in the story? Yes, it was the little pig that built his house with straw. Let's paste that in. Do you remember the second character of the story? Wow, you are so clever. Yes, it was the little pig that built his house with sticks. And there's the picture over there. Do you remember the third character? Ah, he was a clever little one. This was the third little pig and he built his house using bricks. Very smart. I think we all remember the fourth character. Yes, he was the big bad wolf. Well done. Now we will move over to the sequence of events. Remember what happened first, second and third. Can you remember what happened first in the story? Yes, the little pig built his house with straw. But it didn't last very long. And the big bad wolf came and he huffed and he puffed. And guess what? He actually blew the house down. What happened next? The first little pig ran to the second little pig's house and they hid there. And along came the wolf and he came and he said, I will blow your house down. And he huffed and he puffed and guess what? He managed to blow the house down. What happened next? The two little pigs ran to the third little pig's house. But remember, this was a clever little pig. He built his house with brick. So as the hoof huffed and puffed, do you know what happened? He couldn't blow the house down. Well done. You have now summarized your story into characters and sequence of events. What happened first, second and third. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. See you soon. Wow, what a useful idea to use in an English lesson. After the break, we will explore grade one language activities for the lesson. Welcome back. In this segment, 
We're exploring grade one shed reading skills and we'll be making a sock and toilet roll puppet and pictures. Enjoy. Hi everyone, and my name is Lizzie Wei. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a sock puppet just like this. Puppets are a great way of telling stories that we have just read or that we have just listened to so that we can make our stories to come alive. Well, my favorite story is Three Little Pigs. And I have great ideas of how you can make simple puppets by drawing pictures like this and pasting them at the back of your toilet roll. So these puppets will be able to stand like how they are standing here. So for today's lesson, we are going to be making a sock puppet. So what you need is a pair of old socks that you are no longer using. Like this, you also need some paper. I'm just going to use the black paper for some mouth. You need also white paper to make some teeth as well as some cookies, googly eyes, pegs, glue, and of course, a pair of scissors. So what you do first, you need to cut out the sock at the end, like how I've cut it out here. You then need to trace your sock on the page Fold your page in half and trace the end of your sock on your page, only tracing the sides of your sock. Once you have the correct shape, you can then cut it out. I've already cut out one here to show you. You then need to put this inside the sock that you have cut out in that opening. Put some glue on at the end of your sock. And use some pegs to hold it together like this. So once this dries up, you're then going to move on to pasting your googly eyes. So your google eyes, or you can either draw your own eyes using some white page. So you're going to paste your googly eyes above like this. You then need to cut up a piece of paper to make a tongue. So you can draw how you want your tongue to look and then cut it out. I've already cut one out and I wanted my tongue to look red like this. So this paper, you're going to fold it a bit at the end and paste it inside the black paper like this, inside your, your, um, your big bad wolf's mouth. You then need to make some teeth by cutting a zigzag line on your white page. This is how the zigzag teeth are going to look like and you can paste it at the end of your puppet when your puppet is dried. This is how your puppet is going to look like when it is complete. Of course, you need some ears. You can cut out some triangular shapes to make your ears from your, either your black or any color paper that you have at home. You can then use this to tell your stories, like I would tell the story of the little red, the, the three little pigs, or the little red riding hood using my big bed wolf sock puppet like this. We have come to the end of the lesson. I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson and you can find some old sock 
to make your own puppets at home to practice telling the stories that you have just read during your shared reading time at school or at home. Goodbye. Wow, that grade one resource really helps to build language skills. After the break, we will explore an idea for grade two. See you soon. Welcome back. In this segment, we're exploring grade two English reading.